Hey, Jim Bergman, uh, Friday the 3rd of July, I'm in the office by myself a little bit doing some testing on MeasureQuick and we, uh, we added in some new uh, Premier testing services. Um, Brian Orr actually was the one that spurheaded this. He suggested that we, um, we make a way of doing service that was a little bit faster than our standard commissioning checklist. And the original one was really based around commissioning. And so we built this in. I'll give you a shot here. Let me show you. I'm just doing this all by hand here. But now we, we added in a, what's called Measure Quick Premier. And so that's this AC heating or cooling uh, test right here. And I've actually, um, you know, it's just like we start, just like a regular project. It is a paid project. So you can uh, either start blank or use cloud. Um, you know, so if you start it blank, you know, you'll go through the unlock process. I'm going to cancel it here because I actually have one that I set up that is the uh, shop unit test. So I'll just set it as active and then we'll go back into this project. So really all you got to do now is it's a, it's a geotag profile, put in some filter information. Uh, there's a photo documentation section and retest. And the whole idea behind this is to get you in and out quickly and then to do more photo documentation than text documentation because the photos tell us a lot about you know, how that equipment uh, explains a lot to the customer about how things are working. So the geotag is just literally you know, drag and drop on the equipment where you're at so we can mark the piece of equipment or mark the general location around the building that you're working. Hit submit. You profile the system. It's just model and serial number. Uh, we have both basic and advanced. The advanced is if you know you know, the, uh, the superheat and subcooling, otherwise it's gonna use the default target to 10. So you can see I've got all this set up already. And then filter information is literally just, you know, tap, most of the time it's just tap it, set the date, and then it's the size of the filter. And we use this for filter face velocity, which I'll show you coming up here in just a second. And then they have a full photo documentation section. So. As you're going through and you get the equipment started, you're going to show, you know, things about the electrical system. So you can, you know, view the photos here. Um, we can make notes, you know, contactors pitted, uh, air distribution system. And I want you to notice something here because I broke this out in a very specific way because a lot of guys get what we call is appliance fixation, meaning that they think they can solve everything at the condensing unit or everything at the indoor unit and they forget that it's tied to an electrical system an air distribution system, there's an air filtration system, a condensate drain system, and you really need to make sure you're checking all of these systems. Um, so there's refrigerant charge, outdoor equipment, indoor equipment, cooling capacity, uh, electrical efficiency, and then some general equipment photos. And you can add in as many photos as you want to add in. You can also add in sections in here, and these will all print out on the report. So I'll hit submit on that. So now we're into the retest because I already tested the system once. So I'm going to retest it and I got to go ahead and I'm just going to turn on my probes here and I'll probably have to go out and connect to my meter. I'm actually going to do this live on the shop here. So we've got the electrical meter up and running. I'll just get the condenser first, I guess. So it's going to get a little noisy here because we're out by the unit. Sorry about that. We'll go back in the project, electrical measurements. I'm going to set this down for a second. This is my condensing unit capture. And over here. And the evaporator. And then we'll hit submit. And now you can see it's going through. Um, we're going to give this just a second so it stabilizes here because it's actually running diagnostics and you'll see a subsystem review uh, category. And so it's just doing a regular, you know, waiting for the system to stabilize. Uh, you can go into your you know, look at your different things here. And right now I do have a problem with this, obviously. So you can see, um, definitely got what looks like a low supply air temperature. And we can just sort of skim through here. Let me uh, flip to the next mode. So low suction pressure, um, low suction lines, or superheat and all that looks pretty good. Uh, high compression ratio. Uh, Everything looks good except we got looks like low airflow and a high temperature split and high change in enthalpy, right? These are all indicators we have low airflow and I actually have that set up on here right now. So uh, then we can see we got uh, low total capacity, low sensible capacity, normal latent capacity, and this thing's just just basically a giant dehumidifier. So now we've got the point where we got our flag. I'm gonna tap on our flag. You can see 
sensible capacity is low and airflow is low. That's the two problems on the system. That's what I actually have right now. So let's go back into the project now and you can see that we have um, our diagnostics has got a, a red flag and our subsystem review has a red flag. I'm going to hit save the data and when it saves it and then I hit view here, now I can edit or review my subsystem. So obviously my diagnostics, you know, we just looked at that, low capacity, but I want to review my subsystem. Now what this does is pass fail. So the electrical system, we looked at the power factor of the condenser, it's 1.0, so that's going to be a pass. We don't really need to look at the indoor fan power factor because a lot of times those are ECMs and or if it's a variable speed motor, it could be set off the high speed and that's going to, um, you know, it's not going to have a power factor of one. Air distribution system here, right here, high temperature split and a fan watt draw is really low, so that's a fail, right? And, it, and you can always override these, these are pass fail, but it automatically scan it, pass fail. Air filtration system, uh, face velocity of the filter is 153, that's a pass. Condensate drain, well, um, obviously that's draining in a bucket, so that would be a fail. Refrigerant charge, the superheat and subcooling get passed automatically because they're in line. Outdoor equipment's in good condition, indoor equipment's in good condition. Cooling capacity is really low, so that's a fail. And then obviously my cooling efficiency is low. Now, if you want to know what any of these are, you can just tap on the I button, and it's just like in cooling, it's comparing your efficiency to the um, cooling efficiency of modern equipment. Or if we want to look here at our uh, air distribution system, you know, it's tested for proper airflow, blower efficiency, fan watt draw, return duct leakage, heat gain, static pressures. Um, so there's a lot of different things that we're running on here that does the pass fail. So we hit submit on this now, and we hit share, and we export a PDF. You can either uh, have the range indicators or not. I'll go ahead and leave them on here in this case. We'll generate the PDF. It'll just take a second here. And once that PDF pops up here, not only to get the range indicators, but we get the um, pass fails, so all the subsystem reviews, and we get the, uh, sense the, the diagnostics on the report now showing the sensible capacity is below 90% and the airflow is low. And then we have a full photo and documentation here so we can show you know, the contactor, air distribution system, condition of the filter before and after, uh, our problem with our condensate draining into a bucket. You can see our notes pop up on there. Our charge is good, condition of the equipment. And I added in this page in the, on the end here, and this is just sort of un understanding your subsystems. And this is um, designed specifically for the homeowner. Um, to just explain, you know, hey, uh, your electrical system has a problem and here's what that does or your air distribution has a problem and Here's what that does or filtration, right? You're gonna find a ton of systems have Filtration issues because they just simply have too small of a filter and a face velocity is way way too high And you know, this is a really important thing for um, Getting good filtration condensate drain system refrigerant charge outdoor equipment indoor equipment So all these different things explain it to the homeowner what's going on there so this is, uh, it's pretty slick. I think you guys will be able to make some good money off this test because it really drives home the, uh, the importance of all these subsystems. It, it gives you a lot of uh, credibility. You can do a lot, real easy photo documentation with this. And then, you know, obviously also, uh, it does a pass fail for your technicians and uh, with, with the ability to override it. So it's, a, it's really slick. Um, and I think uh, it, it makes things tremendously faster. So thank you, Brian Orr, for the suggestion. And we're going to get this rolled out here, hopefully this weekend. I'm just wrapping up the final testing on it. And uh, let me know what you guys think.